Hey there crewmates, how's it going? It's Mift Crew here, and today we are going to take a look at how to swap maps. Now let's say at a certain point um, you want the characters you to go into a different map, let's say, in your animation. Uh, there are two ways of doing this from what I know, but we are going to start with the most simplest way, because simple is better. <laughs> this tutorial was requested by Wolf Blue, and I would like to thank you so much for that. Without further ado, let's get right into this. So for this example, I prepared a little animation when Foxy the Pirate, Fox and Boris the Wolf uh, meet each other for the first time with a simple handshake. We are going to do a save as, so we're going to go to file, save as, and then call it whatever we want to call it. We are going to then click enter, and we are then going to open up the save as that we have just done, simply by going to file, recent, and then clicking on the name that we are just giving it, how to swap the map. So we're just going to want to left click on that, and it should hopefully open. You might notice Source Filmmaker crashing you and close. Don't worry about it, all you need to do is open it up again and open the project. Alright, cool. So, that, so the reason why I want to do that here is because um, it will uh, change the map for the whole animation otherwise. Now in some cases scenario, uh, you may want that. If you do, then you don't really need to do the save as. Now that we've done our save as here, and we have it all opened up here, we are going to right click on the viewport, and right at the very bottom here, um, you will notice it says unload map. We are going to left click on that, and it will say no map loaded. After we see that, we are going to want to right click in the viewport, so we're going to right click, and then at the very bottom again, you will see the text that says load map dot dot dot. So we're going to want to left click on that. And now that we have done that, we are then going to want to choose the map that we would like here. So in this case, I would like um, the Black Void map. There it is here, at the top there. So we are going to open that map up. And yeah, it's just going to load up here. And there you have it really. Uh, here it is within the animation. You're going to want to save here also because Source Filmmaker has a tendency of crashing when you reload a map here. That's one way of doing it. The only issue with this method here is that it has more of a tendency to crash when uh, reloading the map. Here we go with method two. If this has worked for you, then you don't need to follow along anymore. But if you want to, that's totally fine. It's always good to know the two methods anyways, just in case there's a backup. So yup, here we go with method two. So what we are going to want to do here is go to file, click new, um, then click the create button. Awesome, now that we have done that, we are going to right click in the viewport and go to the bottom where the text says unload map and we are going to want to click that here. Now that we have done that, we are going to want to right click again, click load map and find the map that we would like uh, to load in yet again here. Uh, just got to wait for that to open and here we are. Here we are in our void map here. It's also for maker crashes in the process of doing this. Don't worry about it, that happens to me as well. Just open up Source Film Maker, make a new project, and load up the map that you would like to. We are then going to want to go over here, um, next to where it says Animation Set Editor, uh, and we're going to want to left click on the text that says Element Viewer. You will see the text that says Misc Bin, right here. Uh, what you're going to want to do then, is that you're going to want to right click on that, and go all the way down to the bottom, not quite down to the bottom, but uh, right above the bottom text uh, where it says import elements right here. We're going to left click on that and now we are going to want to left click on the project that we would like uh, to swap maps in. In this case it is project 1 because although I called it a different name earlier, remember that was me doing a save as, I'm not doing a save as this time, so we are going to just go for the um, I was um, originally working with, which is Project 1, and we are then going to click Open with the left mouse button. Cool, now that we have done that, you may notice a little plus symbol right next to the MISC bin text. We are then going to want to left click on that plus symbol right there, uh, next to the MISC bin, and that will open up the text that says Session, uh, that also has a plus button next to it. You are then going to want to click on that with the left mouse button. Cool, awesome. Now that we have done that, you are going to want to find the text that says active clip. You will then see, guess what? We're going to see another plus button next to it. Yay! Cool, now that we found that, we are going to want to uh, click on that plus button next to active clip. 
uh, that we are going to want to go down to nearly the bottom, but not quite. Uh, you will be. You should see the text that says "sub clip track group." We are then going to left click on that, and you will see there is another plus button. It's like it's like a bass exam. It's like all these pluses. It's like plus 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 plus. plus. So now that we have found that text uh, that's called sub clip track group, we are then going to want to click on the plus button next to that one as well. Sweet, awesome. And then you will see some more text appear. You are going to want to locate the text that is the only one that has a plus button <laughs> next to it. In this case, it is tracks. So you are going to want to um, find the text that says tracks. If for whatever reason you find any other text that has a plus button, ignore those. All you'll have to hear is tracks. And here it is right there, tracks. So we are going to left click once again on that plus button. And then we will see uh, one text pop up, well one new text pop up, which is highlighted in green, also has another plus button next to it. Gee whiz! We are then going to click on that plus button once again, and we're going to want to find the text that says children. Uh, we're going to left click on that plus button next to it here, and there's more text! There's only one piece of text that's highlighted in green in this case, and it is called shot one. And guess what? Guess what? There is a plus button right there next to that text. Can you guess what we are going to do? We are not going to click that plus button. What? We're not? Really? Yes, no more pluses here. <laughs> okay. Um, so now that we have um, found uh, shots one with the plus next to it, um, underneath the children's uh, text here, the text that's called children, uh, we are then going to want to make some space within the new project that we have made. So you might need to zoom out a little bit here. You can do that by using the middle with your mouse button on your mouse. Should look a little bit like this here. Uh, if you just adjust it then you will see that it's also um, zooming in and out uh, on the screen here. So yep, uh, if you don't have a mouse then that's okay. All you have to do then is go into the graph editor. Do this on your mouse pad. That should make it zoom out. If you want to make it zoom in, you can just uh, do this with your fingers on the mouse pad. Cool. Awesome. Uh, I know this because I've actually done uh, uh, most of my source filmmaker animations on a laptop here. <laughs> Alright, cool. So now that we have it all zoomed out here, um, zoomed out enough at least, we are then going to want to go back into the clip editor and make some space for our shots to fit in. The reason why is because it won't really be able to fit otherwise anywhere. So we can do this by uh, hovering our mouse over the um, edge of the blue edge right here. Uh, left click and hold and drag to the right here. And that should um, uh, make uh, some uh, nice space for us there. Now that we have done that, we are then going to want to go back to our shot one here, which is underneath the children's text. We are going to want to left click and hold and drag into the empty space here. Now you may see this window pop up. If so, that's okay. Don't worry about it. What we, the reason why it's doing this is because it um, has the same name as the current shot that is in the project here. So what we are going to want to do is that we are going to want to left click on cancel. Uh, we are going to want to rename it by either left clicking on it again or right clicking on it and click rename element. Sweet, now that we have done that, we can call it whatever you want to. So I'm just going to call it whatever you want to. Of course, you don't have to actually call it that. No, it's up to you what you what to call it. As long as it's not um, the same name as any of the current shots within your project. So um, we are then going to click enter. And then we are going to left click and drag it into the empty space. And if we were to um, go to this little shot here now. I uh, might want to disable lighting just to make it a little bit easier to find. Then we should be able to see uh, the characters uh, somewhere in the map here. And there they are here now. Uh, they are right there shaking hands. Which is great. All you want to do now is um, uh, go back to the animation set editor. Uh, select the lights. And you're going to want to make sure that you select 
um, the main characters that you would like to loot move last because the, the reason why is, is because that's the um, one that Source Filmmaker prioritizes is the one you click last. So we're going to left click on the lights here, hold down control, left click on Boris, uh, left click on Foxy. And now you can move them about both around wherever you will, wherever you want to really. It's up to you. Ape. You can put them on the floor down here even if you wanted to. And uh, there they are. And yep, it still has the light even right there. So uh, yeah. And just to finish off, I would like to clarify what I did to have Freddy walk from one map to another. So yep, I loaded up one map. I animated him walking behind a door that was open. So he is walking, 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 walking. And then I just made a new project. I did method two um, for this um, for this animation. And then I loaded up the void map. After I loaded up the void map, I then positioned the models where I would like them to be. And um, I just let his animation play again for a couple of steps. And then I had him have a little look around. So. Yeah, that's um, pretty much it really. That is pretty much how you swap maps in Source Filmmaker. Again, I would like to thank Wolf Blue so much for their request on the tutorial. And that's pretty much all for now, crewmates. Thank you for watching, it's Mythcrew here. And I'll be back with more videos coming soon. Goodbye, crewmates.